This is a belt. I promise I didn't try to match it. This is just the first one I picked up. I would've bought another one if I realized what I was wearing today. What's up, GQ? I'm Vince Staples, and these are my essentials. This is a rosemary and eucalyptus body oil from Noir Grooming by Natasha in Los Angeles, California. One thing about black people is that we get ashy and sometimes we get greasy. So it's a perfect balance to not be ashy, not be greasy, and not, you know, Jergens, Johnson & Johnson, like, you know, all due respect, but that's that, you know, we're getting too much money for Jergens or Johnson & Johnson. We're not doing that. You take this, you get two drops, you rub it in, you go about your day. You don't want to look too shiny, you don't want to look too matte. It's a perfect balance, so make sure you go support. I don't know the website, but I know she got one. It's good for you. Stop using jargons, it's weird. So Vince, can you tell us about your, uh, your moisturizing routine? I'm happy you asked, it's a big disconnect in all of our communities. Black people moisturize at all times. When you wake up, when you go to sleep, throughout the day. I have a tour manager named Danny Wasby, great guy. Hey Danny, Danny told us he doesn't wear lotion. He never has, he never will, it's just a thing he does. But Danny also puts his jeans in the freezer on a tour bus next to the Egos. Tell me if you trust a man who puts the jeans by the Eggos. You know, simple question. Hey, Danny. This is a water by Hiroshi, a diffuser fragrance oil. It's Barney. You put this in a little diffuser from Muji or wherever you decide to get your diffusers from. But put this in the water, let it run throughout the whole house, and it's like a brand new house because you know you might get a little cabin fever based on not being able to leave because we're in a pandemic. I like this a lot. We got one in every room, different flavors. You're not getting all the flavors but you gotta make sure when you walk in different parts of the house, it's a different experience for you and yours. So this is the thing about the candles. My ceilings are too high and I like the windows to be open sometimes. With the candle, it's a fire hazard, putting smoke in the environment. I don't know if that's a fire hazard, but I got asthma, so something about smoke just doesn't intrigue me. But yeah, with these, you know, you get it right away. You put the water in the environment, you know what I'm saying? You add to the humidity. I got the Vivint security system, so I can monitor the humidity in each room. I can almost promise you that this adds to the humidity is good for your skin, it's good for everything. So make sure that you use diffuser oils, just not the ones I use, because I'm gonna get offended if you steal from me. This is a Comme de Garcon perfume. It's old, it's a little raggedy. I didn't buy stuff for this, y'all aren't that special. This is the only one I'm willing to give up. I have several. I have one for the car. We have one for if it's a cold day, one if it's a hot day. These fragrances kind of differ based on where you're going, how you're living. Sometimes you might want something like more musky if you might be thinking you're going to jail that day or if you think you might have a court date. Sometimes you need something sweeter if you're going to see your grandma. It all depends on what you're doing. This is kind of the balance. Hmm. Kind of robust, floral, I would say. Not too musky, but not too musty. I pair this with like a Dove, fresh powder scent, you know what I mean? We don't do Axe, we don't do Old Spice. That's for racist people. I don't bring this out for the special occasions, but say I'm going to the car wash. Say I'm going to like a candlelight visual. This is what I'll throw on. Come to Garcon Dot, make sure you go get it. This is a Yankee hat. I don't wear hats, but I make sure if I do have to wear a hat, it's this hat holds a lot of symbolism for me. I'm a big fan of Yogi Berra, Derek Jeter, Dale Strawberry. I really love the sport. This is by the Internal Knowledge Chess Club. I overpaid for this hat because it was brown and I just saw Queen's Gambit. So it was a lot of different things that made me love it. But yeah, I have a Yankee hat in my trunk. I have one in my front. I usually have a couple on the road in case I can't get a haircut. I would say about two to three Yankee hats within a reaching distance per day just to keep me, you know, leveled out, make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm centered and I'm, I remember the things that are dear to me. This is an albuterol sulfate. It's an asthma pump. I have chronic asthma, I almost died at Coachella. I almost died at Red Rocks twice. I almost died in Spain. I almost died at PE at Mayfair High School, ninth grade. I almost died at the Racial Riot Jordan Summer School. I think that was 08, 09, one of those things. And this keeps me alive. I was just watching Your Honor and you know, this is the last thing that Adam saw before you know his untimely demise. Sorry for the spoiler, but it's very, very integral to my life. I have about 174 puffs left. So hopefully they last until you know I need another one because I forget to get these a lot. I have about three that are lost. Corey has one. I think Danny Wasby has one. Tyler Page has one. I gotta spread them around in case I'm ever around somebody and I almost die. So you know, this has saved me a couple times. I like the blue ones. They had a little bit more, you know, torque. I just went, damn, I wasted that. 
These are pomades. Now, if you've ever seen or read The Outsiders, you understand pomade is very integral to life on the streets. This is a sleek water light pomade by Frederick Benjamin, I'm pretty sure. This is like if you go into the grocery store really quick, you don't need anything too thick, you might be right back home, because it's not lasting that long, but it's not that heavy, you know, it's good for your pores. This is American Crew Grooming. Now this is kind of thicker, it's almost like a petroleum, like gasoline type of thing. This is what they use before they flick the razor blade. This is what Fonzie had. This will last you all day, maybe two days. But the integral part is the Scotch Porter hair balm. You throw this on the bottom, really get the waves going, really make sure they stay in place. I got a cow lick and I got a weird hair pattern to grow like that, you know, like that. So like, I gotta make sure it's laying flat or I'm gonna look like I'm bald in it. There's a lot of people missing hair these days. I don't wanna be one of them. So make sure, you know, if you're losing your hair, cut it against the grain, get a one low, or just be bald, don't embarrass yourself. Okay, this is a belt. Belts are very integral to life. You might need to get up out of there, you might need to go somewhere, you know. If you don't have a belt, and I can see your bottom, I will judge you. It's not attractive, it don't make you hard. No one wants to see your ethicus. We're not doing ethicus. Doesn't even sound right. This is a Japanese peach water by Coca-Cola. I don't know what it says, but I know this is Japanese and I know it's by Coca-Cola. We went to Kyoto, it was a whole ordeal, and we were walking through a forest and it was 100 degrees, and this is the only water they had, and it's delicious. So with that being said, this is an essential thing for me because I almost die, and you almost die every day. So make sure to drink some water, flavored or not flavored, just make sure it's not sparkling. Okay, this is a wallet. I've seen a lot of these, a lot of people don't have their wallet or their keys or their phone. You're lying. You don't need all that jewelry or that box of cereal or like those shoes. You're a liar. This is important. I have my SAG card, shout out to the Screen Actors Guild. I got a room and board gift card I haven't used. I have a $200 gift card I haven't used. I got this for Christmas. I got a tile. I think, yeah, it works. I thought it was dead. I got my driver's license. I got some insurance cards that are expired, but I have them in my email. Oh, I have my California Department of Justice firearm safety certificate. I'm working on my CCW. I have a fully expunged record. So the sheriff of where I live at, watch this. I'm a good guy. No cash in the wallet though. Oh no, cash is for people, not yourself. I'm not giving anyone anything. No, it's not my thing. This is a KN95 mask. Due to us being in a panda bear, you have to make sure that you're safe at all times. You have the little cute ones with the designs and the aesthetics and all that stuff. It's not gonna keep you alive, you're gonna die. So you have to make sure you have the correct filtration. This is what they give the firefighters and the army men. So make sure that you have one of these when you go to the Whole Foods. Don't yell in the CVS about how it's your constitutional right to not have a mask because then you're a bad person and we don't tolerate bad people in 2021. It's a new day and that's what this is for. Thank you for checking out my essentials. Once again, it's Vince Staples. See you guys later.